Hello and welcome to my channel, TFF, Teacher from Finland. My name is Jouni Vilkka and I am, among other things, qualified to teach psychology. I have taught it sporadically at senior high school or lukio level in Finland since 2016, even though I mostly consider myself to be a philosopher. In 2023 I decided to try and make videos and books about all the subjects I am qualified to teach, to make knowledge easily available to others in the wide world. That is why I make my videos in English, the contemporary lingua franca, instead of my native Finnish. This video begins my course Introduction to Psychology. This course, should you follow it to the end, will teach you something about how the human mind works, why it works the way it does, how psychologists study such things and, for example, how we learn new knowledge and skills. So, some tips about studying and learning will also be included. Learning about psychology should also teach you about yourself and enable you to understand other people better as well as to develop your own psychological skills. It may also improve your mental well-being, or at least give you some ideas about what you can do to improve your well-being. More about uh, the specific contents of this series shortly, but first I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and click the thumbs up button. This course is based on the national curriculum for Finnish senior high schools and the materials used at such schools in Finland, with some additions based on my own studies, of course. The very first college-level course on psychology would also go over the same basic contents. I hope to be able to make my presentation accessible to everyone by keeping things simple enough and also by providing properly curated subtitles to my videos. There are no starting requirements, and anyone simply interested in the subject should be able to learn the basics of psychology just by watching my videos. Or to revise their knowledge if they already have studied psychology, for example, years or decades ago when they were in high school. This course will look at four different types of approaches to psychology, which can be seen as ways of looking at different levels of human psychology. 1. The biological, 2. The cognitive, 3. Uh, the social and 4. The cultural level. Psychology is a multifaceted science using many different methods to try to explain human behavior, thinking, attitudes and much more. Towards the end of this series, as an example of how these different approaches can be used to tackle an issue, I will discuss learning as a phenomenon and what these approaches can tell us about it from their perspectives. The most important thing you can learn and have to keep on learning throughout your life is critical thinking. That includes understanding how science works and recognizing pseudoscience. Some of these basics uh, were covered in my earlier course, Introduction to Philosophy and Critical Thinking, to which I will refer when it is relevant. But I will also explain some of the basics of the kinds of research psychologists do. It may be worth pointing out that because understanding and explaining human behavior is a very broad subject, and thus includes even the social and cultural levels of explanation of our behavior, it means that I am actually venturing into social psychology and perhaps even cultural studies, outside psychology proper. These other fields are in fact different disciplines, which I have actually studied as well. They are included here because of the subject matter. As an introductory course, the idea is to give a broad general overview. That might also inspire you to explore these other disciplines more in the future. The nature of this course also means that I will reserve more critical views about psychological research for later. For now, it is enough to understand what the important theories and views are. You should never accept anything as simply true, 
in the naive sense, but instead try to remember the sources of your knowledge and the limitations of that knowledge. Just because something is an important theory or model discussed in a field of science, it doesn't mean it's true. If this is difficult to grasp, I recommend watching that aforementioned philosophy course. Also, while this is a broad course, and partly because of that, developmental psychology will not be included here. That is because the second course on psychology is devoted to only that topic. This course will be long enough without including development, although that is an important part of understanding humanity. As an academic discipline, psychology has a strong connection to philosophy, because it was only relatively recently that psychology became separated from philosophy, becoming an independent field of study and academic discipline of its own. Also, there are some connections in the contents of psychology that are still almost indistinguishable from philosophy, and I hope to be able to point out some of those during this course or series of videos. The planned structure of this course can be found on the page I created for this course, which you can find by clicking the link in the description. As the course progresses, I will add links to the relevant videos, so you can follow this course through that page, or you can use the link uh, to the playlist for this course, also included in the description below. My main sources for this course are the following, all in Finnish. Lukion Psykologia, Kurssit 1 ja 5, by Harri Peltomaa et al. Motiivi 1, psyykkinen toiminta ja oppiminen by Alexander Degerman and Christina Holm, oivallus 1, psykologia lukiolaisille by Tiina Maria Päivänsalo et al. Toimiva ja oppiva ihminen by Minna Nummenmaa et al. Of these the first, uh, lukion psykologia, is the most important for this course. As this is not an academic publication, this course that is, uh, and as all basic introductions to the subject contain roughly the same information, I won't bother to cite my sources throughout the series. If I make my own observations or state opinions that are not based on these sources, I will try to make that clear. At times, I may also provide additional sources or at least links to videos, for example. Remember to check the descriptions of the videos I make, and always feel free to leave comments if there's something you'd like to add or ask. That is all for now. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. If you wish to support my channel, please click thumbs up, subscribe and share my videos. Any comments on the videos would also be welcome.